You went to a primary school in Kevin. Well, I did. Kevin well, yes. yes, and I still to this day can't recall how I learned English. Because you see, everything was Welsh. Everything in the house was Welsh. Everything in the chapel was Welsh. Everything in the village was Welsh. You know, they never spoke a word of English to me. So I've often thought, well, where did the English language come from? It could only have come from four, five, six years of age via school. Or it became natural in people at that time. I don't know. And they obviously spoke English. You know, my mother could speak English in the shop, and my father could as well, but they never spoke English to me. And what kind of household was it? Was it a household that had a television early? No, not at all. Not when, was, <coughs> not when I was a small boy. We had the first television in the village, 1953, only because my grandfather had had an accident in the pitch, pit. And he had to finish work in 1951, and he became disabled, totally paralysed in the end, and he died from that paralysis in 1957-58, six, seven years later. And how it happened to him was amazing. We'd be out walking, and he'd fall on the floor, lose his control over his legs. He'd get up, carry on. Nothing would happen for a few months, which would happen again. And then it started getting more regular. Out in the garden, he would collapse, get up. But eventually it came, he couldn't move at all. And he was in a wheelchair. So he got a 120 pound compensation. Big money in those mm. days. Well, what were they going to do with 120 pound? They decided to buy a bush, 12 inch, black and white television because before then it was an old-fashioned box radio and I used to listen to everything on that G.V. Wynne-Jones commentating on Wales and England and G.V. Wynne-Jones was a, an exciting uh, commentator you could see the game you know and after the game I had a rugby ball and I'd be out of the field and I was and I was Cliff Morgan you know what I mean and there was anyway it was coronation time the whole village, because we were the only ones who had the television, and we were only able to afford it because of the lump sum my grandfather had. The whole village, about 40, 50 people, yeah. came into that small room we had in Manor Avon to watch the coronation. Mm. Then the Stanley Matthews Cup final in 1953, Blackpool we bolted, I think it was, and when Black, when, when the, Matthews and Stan Mottis and they won four one for two. Houses from you know on this black and white television screen. So we went, we had the first television. I'm tempted to say, but it, there's not much in it. My father probably had the first car as well in the village, but very near. Maybe not. I won't argue the point on this. But if there were, there was only one or two others. But I remember him being a big Ford man. It was always a Ford. Oh, Ford, yeah, 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 yeah. Ford 8, and then a Morris 8. And then he really went up in the world for an Austin A30. Now, I thought an Austin A30, I used to drive it. I, when we were going on later in life, when we were becoming to later things in the mid-60s, I used to drive it to go to Cardiff and go to work. And I thought, yes, lovely car. You look at an A30 today, if you see one on the road, it's like a matchbox, so small. But it didn't feel like that, you see. Anyway, I passed my test in the Ford 8, in the Morris 8, a 1936 Morris 8. That's when I, that's when I passed my test in, in Carmarthen. And I shouldn't have passed my test. Should have had lessons from a fellow down the road from a squirrel who died of young of cancer. I remember him as well going to hospital uh, with the ambulance. And I can see him now lifting his hand. He knew he wasn't coming back. You know? And he taught me to drive. And so I had to test him about it, about 1958-59, something like that. And like with tests now, I assume, yeah, you have to do an emergency stop. Mm -hmm. Well, my foot got caught in the accelerator. 
and I didn't stop, did I? So I explained to the examiner, and he gave me another chance. Mm. Now these days, that would have happened. Mm. He gave me another chance, and I did it right the second.